O Lord, open our lips, and we will declare your praise. We read together from Psalm 14. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and abominable in their wickedness. There is no one that does good. The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the children of earth, to see if there is anyone wise, and seeks after God. But every one has turned back. All alike have become corrupt. There is none that does good, no, not one. They have no knowledge, these evildoers, who eat up my people as though they ate bread, and do not call upon the Lord. There shall they be in great fear, for God is in the company of the righteous. Though they would confound the counsel of the poor, yet the Lord shall be their refuge. Oh, that Israel's salvation will come out of Zion, when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. Then Jacob will rejoice, and Israel be glad. There are some who try to confound the counsel of the poor, who try and give poor advice to those who are vulnerable, so that uh, they can be exploited. The Lord will be their refuge, and the Lord will judge those who do such things. Psalm 15 Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may rest upon your holy hill? Whoever leads an uncorrupted life and does the thing that is right, who speaks the truth from the heart and bears no deceit on the tongue, who does no evil to a friend and pours no scorn on a neighbour, in whose sight the wicked are not esteemed, but who honours those who fear the Lord, whoever has sworn to a neighbour and never goes back on that word, who does not lend money in the hope of gain, nor take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never fall. We've got to be careful who we look up to. One of the, the marks of those who are righteous, who live a good life, who are entitled to come into the Lord's tabernacle, is that uh, in their sight the wicked are not esteemed. Who do we look up to? Who are our heroes? Let's make sure we don't esteem the wicked. Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watch you see instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore, my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. You will not abandon my soul to death nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of light, and in your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Those who serve the Lord know his blessing on their life. They know he gives joy in this world, as well as the hope of eternity. Ezekiel 20 Verses 1 to 20. In the seventh year, in the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month, certain elders of Israel came to consult the Lord and sat down before me. And the word of the Lord came to me, mortal, speak to the elders of Israel and say to them, Thus says the Lord, why are you coming to consult me? As I live, says the Lord, I will not be consulted by you. Will you judge them, mortal? Will you judge them? Let them know the abominations of their ancestors. And say to them, Thus says the Lord God, On the day when I chose Israel, I swore to the offspring of the house of Jacob, making myself known to them in the land of Egypt. I swore to them, saying, I am your God. On that day I swore to them that I would bring them out of the land of Egypt, into a land that I had searched out for them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most glorious of all lands. And I said to them, Cast away the detestable things your eyes feast on, every one of you, and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. 
but they rebelled against me and would not listen. Not one of them cast away the detestable things their eyes feasted on, nor did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I thought I would pour out my wrath upon them, and spend my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. But I acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations among whom they lived, in whose sight I made myself known to them, in bringing them out of the land of Egypt. So I led them out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. I gave them my statutes and showed them my ordinances, by whose observation everyone shall live. Moreover, I gave them my Sabbaths as a sign between me and them, so that they might know that I, the Lord, sanctify them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not observe my statutes, but rejected my ordinances, by whose observation everyone shall live, and my Sabbaths they greatly profaned. Then I thought I would pour out my wrath upon them in the wilderness, to make an end of them. But I acted for my name's sake, so that, they, so that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations, in whose sight I had brought them out. Moreover, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land that I had given them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most glorious of all lands, because they had rejected my ordinances and did not observe my statutes and profaned my Sabbaths. So that for their heart went after their idols. Nevertheless, my eyes spared them, and I did not destroy them or make an end of them in the wilderness. I said to their children in the wilderness, Do not follow the statutes of your parents, nor observe their ordinances, nor defile yourself with their idols. I am the Lord your God. Follow my statutes, and be careful to observe my ordinances, and allow my Sabbaths, that they may be a sign between me and you, so that you may know that I am the Lord your God. God was merciful to his people, though they defied him and turned their backs on him. But the blessing came to the next generation. He said to their children, serve me. Let's see tomorrow how the children get on. 2 Corinthians 13. This is the third time that I am coming to you. Any charge must be sustained by the evidence of two or three witnesses. I warn those who sinned previously and all others, and I warn them now, while absent, as I did when present on my second visit, that if I come again I will not be lenient, since you desire proof that God is speaking in me. He is not weak in dealing with you, but is powerful in you. He was crucified in witness, but lives by the power of God. For we are weak in him, but in dealing with you we will live with him by the power of God. Examine yourselves to see whether you are living in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realise that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail to pass the test? I hope you will find out we have not failed. We pray to God that you may not do anything wrong. Not that we may appear to have passed the test, but that you may do what is right, though we may seem to have failed. For we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. For we rejoice when we are weak and you are strong. This is what we pray for, that you may become perfect. So I write these things while I am away from you, so that when I come, I may not have to be severe in using the authority that the Lord has given me for building up and not for tearing down. Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the saints be with you all. Examine yourselves to see whether you are living in the faith. And here is the test for us that we examine our hearts and make sure that we are living in the faith, that we are living for God. Lord, today we examine and test our hearts. We pray, Lord, that you will help us by your Spirit and guide us into those areas where we would rather not look. But, Lord, our desire is to live for you. Help us through your Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.